So if anyone should be qualified to answer this question about protein should be you. How many electrons per atom does protein contain? She said, I don't know. I said, but man, if protein is a necessary food, it definitely has to have a fixed amount of electrons distinguishing protein from the other elements in the world on the planet. For it to assimilate, it has to be electrical. And is protein electrical? Protein is dead. Next question. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, glaucoma and I had surgery on the right eye and I'm scheduled for surgery uh, next month, June 24th. The question is glaucoma. I could go back to this lady in St. Croix. This lady, oh boy, I always remember her name. This lady came to me. She said, Dr. Sebi, I have been operating on this left eye. I'm going back to Boston because my eye is bleeding in the chamber and the retina has detached. Miss Orange. Miss Orange. Orange is the last name. Uh, I said, ma'am, would you like to try our methodology for a while and see what would happen? On the first week, this lady was all enthused, which gave her the courage to want to pursue this. We gave her the treatment with a special eye wash. You know what happened? What happened to Miss Orange happened to Mr. Teddy Pendergrass right here in Philadelphia. When I came to see Teddy, his nerve from C4 was severed. You have never heard of cell regeneration, isn't it? Because if a nerve severs, you would never think that it would go back together, right? It will go back together. You have to provide the environment in the body for it to go back together. You call that chemical affinity. Chemical affinity is an electrical attraction. Cells of the same seek each other. Miss Orange, she had her retina detached. It took me three months, that retina was attached and she was seen good again. All with the cleansing, removing that acid condition that divides cells. It not only divides cells, it divides you from yourself. You want to see it? Okay, I'm going to show you. I saw that one day, accidentally too, because I'm still learning. I'm still seeing, I don't know everything about healing. I'm only telling you what has been accomplished by using these plants. Here is a man, when I went to visit him, there are two glasses of water on the table. But he's waiting for the nurse to come and give it to him. Why? Because when he reached, you know, he can't pick it up. His hand's right here, but if he ever do this, ho oh, oh, ho ho! He's screaming. He better keep his fingers open. He better. Because he had rheumatoid arthritis. So arthritis divides you from yourself. Especially from me. Even more distant. So you got to hold this, right? He couldn't do that. He had rheumatoid arthritis. So when you are all acid up, you've been divided. Not only in yourself, but you and another. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I should take the... Uh, the, 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 the therapy, therapy, not this. The therapy itself. The what? The therapy. Oh, the the intra... You see, there are two treatments. One is the therapeutical. This one is just to buy and go home. Okay. This is for energy. Now, tell me about uh, Parkinson. Well, we have... Parkinson? Uh -huh. I could think of Mr. Chandler. New York. He was my first... Parkinson's disease case. He played bass. He said, Dr. Sebi, it was about two o'clock one evening, he came at the Britain Hall Hotel on Broadway Street in New York. He said, I'm not sick, it is my wife. I have to bathe my wife for now nine years. I bathe her, I feed her, and I have to go play. And you know, as a musician, I'm 56 years of age, I don't make much money. And if this compound of yours is not, is not going to work, 
I don't have $250 to give you. 